Bless the Lord in the house. Hallelujah. Somebody watch your prayer.
Hallelujah. Somebody just wave those hands unto Jesus this morning. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is born. Hallelujah. He was not only born, but he's Lord. Hallelujah. I have an announcement to make this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's worship time. Hallelujah. Somebody stand up on your feet and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. If we come here this morning and we do not worship, then it doesn't make sense. Hallelujah. Somebody just say something unto Jesus this morning. Lord, we just bless your name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness, oh God Almighty, among the children of men. We just exalt you this morning. My God, my Lord, my King, my healer, oh God, the fighter of my battles, my Jehovah Rapha, my Jehovah Nise, my Jehovah Jireh. This morning, oh King of glory, you are everything to me. You are everything to us. Oh, we cannot breathe without you. Lord God Almighty, 
take all the praise this morning take all the glory this morning oh my God almighty words cannot express oh God almighty oh our gratefulness unto you this morning for your goodness Father God we bless you we worship you we worship you we are not confused as to why we are here this morning we are not confused as to why we are here we are not distracted this morning but this morning oh God we will give you a sacrifice that you will accept it will be nothing but the best this morning we'll give you our best praise we'll give you our best worship oh God we will give you oh God almighty our best thanksgiving offering this morning oh we worship you Lord we bless your holy name Lord oh we worship you 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 Lord we worship your name we worship your name oh we bow before you this morning and we give you praise oh God you are worthy you are awesome God oh God when no one else was there Lord you were there oh God Almighty when I didn't know what to do oh God Almighty you were there oh God even in my darkest hour you were there oh God Almighty when I had no other shoulder to cry on you were there when I couldn't find an answer oh God Almighty you were there oh God, when I didn't know what to do, uh, you were there, Lord. Uh, and I just exalt your name, Lord. And we say this morning, be thou lifted up and glorified. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This morning, we thank the Lord for his presence among us this morning. Bless the name of Jesus and you can be seated in that spirit of worship. This morning, we want to give honor to the Lord and the spirit of the Lord that is here with us this morning. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost this morning. We thank God for his presence. want to greet all our leaders in the house. Glory to God. want to greet Bishop Evans, Reverend Matthews, and Reverend McCoy. Bless the name of Jesus, our acting senior pastor, acting deputy senior pastor, and executive executive pastor also want to greet all our ministers in the house and special greetings bless the name of Jesus to Bishop Hyatt put your hands together for Bishop Hyatt all the way from Atlanta right here in our midst bless the name of Jesus and all you wonderful saints new converts young people greetings in the name of Jesus I also want to bring greetings to our online viewers glory to God who continue to faithfully watch bless the name of Jesus at this time coming to us with to minister in poetry put your hands together and let's welcome sister Rebecca at this time followed by sister Giselle with the revelation fireside somebody just wave those hands unto the Lord and just keep worshiping him this morning hallelujah this poem was written by a cancer survivor and I'm reading this today because I just found out that my aunt has breast cancer. If you believe in the word of God, you'll know trials only make us strong. And in Christ, anywhere you are in life is just where you belong. Take time to read the book of Job and you will plainly see that God will never leave you alone. He's always been there for me. It's not what you are going through, friend. It's how you stand the test. Just put your hands in the hands of God and let him do the rest. 
I go through life with a made up mind. I know God has my back. I'm not the one for a pity party now. I pray and get right on track. I am a living testimony for all the world to see, and I want the whole wild world to know I have cancer. Cancer doesn't have me. Please keep my aunt in your prayers. <laughs> Hallelujah, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. The word of God said in Acts 2, verse 17, He said, Behold, in the last days I shall pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Old men will see vision, young men will dream dreams, and sons and daughters shall prophesy. So at this time, we're going to see what God has been revealing unto us. December the 7th, 2018. Major flooding, mudslides, storm, record breaking rain, snow, ravage California all at once, still reeling from the most devastating fires in the state's history. The elemental apocalypse led to mandatory evacuations, deaths, and havoc for residents. John 13, 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Prophecy, November 28, 2018. In the spirit, the Lord calls for California to repent, for greater judgment is ahead. December the 6th, 2018. Two U.S. planes collided and crashed off Japan, with some crew members dead and some missing. John 13, 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. November 24, 2018. In a vision, a major airline tragedy happens concerning the USA shortly. It is wise for all to take precaution where possible. Mankind need to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, the only one who can credibly reveal things to come, John 13, 19. Bless the Lord. We thank the Lord for these prophecies. To view these prophecies, you can log on to www.harvestarmy.com slash prophecies or God's Revival Arena dot org slash prophecies. Back to the moderator, the son. Bless the name of Jesus. We thank God for his voice. Amen. The Lord speaks. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And sister Rebecca and family, the Lord heals. Amen. Somebody just speak a healing word. Glory to God. We speak healing from breast cancer in the name of Jesus. And we bind up every sickness and every disease. And even if you're watching now, receive your healing in Jesus name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We have seen the miraculous hand of God in the move of God. Bless the name of Jesus. Yesterday was our 28th anniversary banquet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we thank God. Bless the name of Jesus for these 28 years. This is a major milestone and we have such we have seen such miracles in the move of God. I remember glory to God when we were in Queens. This lady she came and she said she had breast cancer. 
glory to God, the, the, the doctor, she was working at the hospital, the same hospital where she was working. She was diagnosed with breast cancer. And she, the doctor said that this was, it was very aggressive. And so they had to check to see if it had spread to other parts of her body. So she went and she did a full body scan and it did not spread. Glory to God. But we called her, bless the name of Jesus, and we went down into warfare and we prayed. Somebody say pray. Glory to God. And she went, glory to God, she did a procedure, bless the name of Jesus. They took out all her lymph nodes, so she didn't really have, you know, the strength in her arms was not there. And after she went back to the doctor for her first checkup, the receptionist had her, her file and he, she was in the, the receptionist was in the office and the receptionist kept saying no 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 this is impossible this can't be she so she was so confused so you know the the, the the sister was there wondering what is happening she said no she can't tell her she has to wait for the doctor to come in the doctor came in and said you listen you did not have any breast cancer. All you had was fatty tissue. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. So I know that God heals and time would fail to tell of the so many miracles that the Lord has done in this move of God. Amen. Glory to God. So, you know, knowing you New York logical people, you're thinking, oh my God, the doctor misdiagnosed. That's what you are thinking. But let me tell you what the truth is. The truth is God removed it but the truth is that God healed the woman the truth is that God is still Jehovah Rapha and we speak healing upon that altar we speak deliverance glory to God from every sickness every disease we rebuke it and we speak healing and we speak that there's going to be a mighty testimony of God's healing in the name of in the name of, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Put your hands together and let's welcome Evangelist Evans for the special item at this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody magnify the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. By that we know that we can be changed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Nothing can hold us back. Glory to God. So once, hallelujah, we have a connection with the Savior. Glory to God. Know that there is going to be a change. Glory to God. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I just want to give God thanks for his mighty blessing. Glory to God in our 28th anniversary banquet. Glory to God. He's worthy of the glory and all the praise. Yeah. I've been changed. See, I won't go back. I 
can't go back to the way I used to be before God's presence came. Oh, it changed me. Oh, I won't go back. I can't go back to the way I used to be before God's presence came and changed me. Listen. Oh, my shame. Oh, oh, my guilt. I know we all had some. Oh, my sins. Oh, they all been forgiven. No more fear and no more chains. You see, my past, all of it, it's over. dwell on the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Say, I won't go back. Hallelujah. I'm in a different place now. Hallelujah. I'm taking it to another level uh, and I'm going to go higher in God. Uh, say, I won't go back. Come on. Put your hand on your chest uh, and said, I won't go back. Uh, come on, prophesy to yourself. Say, I won't go back. The devil used to have me, but I'm not going back. Come on, let's say that again. Hallelujah. Say it, I won't go back. Come on, let's sing it. I won't go back. I can't go back 
to the way I used to be before God's presence came and changed me. One more time. Said I won't go. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way I used to be before God's presence came and changed me. Come on, somebody. Is that your testimony? Is that your testimony this morning? Glory to God, make up in your mindset, I won't go back. Hallelujah, I used to be that person, but God has changed me. Hallelujah, God bless you. Bless the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah, I won't go back. Put your hands together for the mighty ministry of evangelist Evans. Glory to God, bless the name of Jesus. Don't go back, amen. Stay where God has placed you and go forward. At this time, the secretary will come to us with the announcements followed by the ministry of the Harvest Army God's Revival Arena Chorale. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We want to greet the Holy Spirit, which is here this morning. Hallelujah. Greetings. Praise God to our acting senior pastor, Bishop N. Evans. Praise God. Greetings to our acting deputy senior pastor, Reverend D. Matthews, our executive pastor, Reverend K. McCoy. Greetings to Reverend Ali, Reverend Bruce, all of the Reverend's friends. Praise God, ministers, those watching online. Praise God, we greet you this morning. Hallelujah. Also want to greet, praise God, our deputy, praise God, senior, our deputies presiding, Bishop, amen, Bishop, praise God, Hyatt, praise God, all the way from Atlanta in our midst this morning. Praise God, we praise God for you. Hallelujah. Our announcements are as follows. Harvest Army Church International. Praise God. Yesterday was our 28th anniversary banquet. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I had a mighty awesome time. Bless the Lord. I don't think I ever enjoyed myself that much. Bless the Lord at any of the other banquets. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. 28 years of doing ministry. Bless the Lord. Miracles. Bless the Lord. Prophecies. Revelation. Hallelujah. Many hallelujah different levels. Praise God. And I am happy to be a part. Bless the Lord. It was my hallelujah seventh anniversary. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. And I won't go back. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Harvest Army Church International. Also their Christmas spectacular. Praise God. Will be on December 21st at 7.30 p.m. Praise God. That's at our headquarters branch in the Bronx. Praise God. Hallelujah. The great gathering will be on January 1st of 2019. Hallelujah. We have speakers coming from across the world to be with us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Please bear that in mind. Right here at Harvest Army, God's Revival Arena, bless the Lord. Just want to remind you of our weekly corporate fasting, praise God, which is on Tuesdays, every Tuesday of every week, praise God, the church hallelujah, is encouraged to be in fasting and prayer, bless the Lord. And so this Tuesday, praise God, if you haven't been doing it, praise God, just want to encourage you, praise God, to be in fasting and prayer, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Christmas Sunday will be on December 23rd and on December 30th. Our Christmas revival will be on December 25th through to the 31st. And our watch night service will be on December 31st. Praise God. Just want to remind the turning points in gathering groups also. Praise God that we are going until December 30th. Praise God. So those of you, praise God, you know who you are, the groups that you're in. Hallelujah. Just continue. Praise God to come together. Praise God and raise funds. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. Right now, the leading group, praise God, are the fighters. Bless the Lord. But they don't have to win, right? No, they're going to win. But anyway, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. You are encouraged. Praise God. Hallelujah. To raise as much funds as you can. And the grand finale, praise God, of the winning group will be announced. Praise God. On December 30th, praise God, there will be a reward. Hallelujah. So do your best. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to be heading to the Bronx this afternoon for our World Revival service at 4 p.m. And we're going to be back here tonight at 7.30 p.m. for our Holy Ghost Fire service. Our general weekly schedule, Sunday's Bible training hour at 10 a.m., divine worship service at 11 a.m., world revival service in the Bronx at 4 p.m., Holy Ghost fire service at 7.30 p.m., Tuesdays is our midweek service at 7.30 p.m., Thursdays prayer power hour at 8 p.m., Fridays youth alive on Converts Connection at 7.30 p.m., Saturdays preach out and witnessing at 12 noon, these are our announcements, back to the moderator at this time.
know what to do, guess what? God said his own arms will bring provision. His own arms will bring salvation. His own arm will bring healing. God's revival. Somebody say God's revival. Somebody say God's revival. Hold on a minute. Let me tell you. If some of us understood what God's revival was, we wouldn't worry about the things that we worry about. If some of us understood God's revival, we would be here in church today. God's revival means that it is God who is doing it. Somebody say God's revival. Somebody say God's revival. You have a problem this morning? Somebody say God's revival. It is he who is doing it. Somebody say God's revival. And that is one of the foundations of this vision right here in Brooklyn. Somebody say God's revival. Oh God of mine. Bless the name of Jesus. Just remain standing at this time. Glory to God as I hand over. Bless the name of Jesus to Reverend McCoy at this time. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody shout God's revival one more time. Somebody shout God's revival one more time. Somebody say we are born to bear chosen to care to set up a standard and to blow the trumpet somebody bless the name of Jesus can we say that again say I am born to bear chosen to care to raise up a standard and blow the trumpet preach the gospel of Jesus Christ somebody bless the Lord Somebody shout glory, cause it's God's revival. My God Almighty, bless the name of Jesus. You may be seated, glory to God, hallelujah. Want to greet all of glory to God, our leaders again, glory to God. Bishop Hyatt, glory to God, hallelujah. Deputy presiding bishop, somebody put your hands together for him. Another time, glory to God, hallelujah. At this moment, glory to God, I want us to get ready to give unto the Lord in a mighty sacrificial way. Those of you that are watching online, we encourage you to participate in this part of the service, glory to God, log on to godsrevivalarena.org, glory to God, slash give, and join us in giving, and we'll be right back with you. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody put your hands together.
get my mobile app on your iPhone or Android phone. Just download the app Tiny. Again, download Tiny on your iPhone or Android phone. After downloading Tiny, get set up and choose Harvest Army Guide to Bible Army as your church. And you will be ready to go. You can go to our website right now at guidesrevivalarmina.org slash give and give today. You can give your tithes, offerings, or a special donation. You can even set up automatic payments. Give today at guidesrevivalarmina.org slash give and the Lord will bless you as you give into our ministry.
our website right now at divesrevivalorlando.org slash give and give today. You can give your tithes, offerings, or a special donation. You can even set up automatic payments. Give today at divesrevivalorlando.org slash give and the Lord will bless you as you give into our ministry.
Bible under the adopt button slash give. And the Lord will bless you as you give into our ministry. Now give anywhere, at any time, and on any device. 
get my mobile app on your iPhone or Android phone. Just download the app Tidly. Again, download Tidly on your iPhone or Android phone. After downloading Tidly, get set up and choose Harvest Army Guide Survival Arena as your church, and you will be ready to go. You can go to our website right now at GuideSurvivalArena.org and give today. You can give your tithes, offerings, or a special donation. You can even set up automatic payments. Give today at GuideSurvivalArena.org slash give. And the Lord will bless you as you give into our ministry.
spiritually, physically, in health. In Jesus' name, we receive from your hands and we give you thanks in no other name but in the name of Jesus Christ. We say thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Back to the moderator at this time. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Just keep standing. Glory to God. We have a mighty father of the ministry here with us today. Glory to God. He is the executive bishop of the Harvest Army Church International. He is our executive bishop and he is also the resident bishop at our Atlanta uh, branch. Glory to God. Our Atlanta branches. And it is my pleasure to welcome at this time our executive bishop, Bishop B. Hyatt at this time. Put your hands together as he comes to minister the word unto us. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. I feel like I'm in church. My Lord. Bless the Lord for all you young people. And fire for God. <laughs> my God. Amen. I'm telling you, my heart do rejoice to see you wonderful young people rise up in the harvest army and take a stand for God and a stand for God's revival. Amen. I have nothing to regret. Oh, I'm rejoicing. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. And there will be still more coming in. Amen. Because I always hear a preacher say, after when I gone, you're going to stand here. <laughs> Amen. And I give the Lord thanks, you know, and to see the fulfillment of the ministry taking place in these young people's life. To God be the glory. Amen. I know the greeting has already gone through, but let me just extend it. One more time, amen. Active senior pastor, Bishop Nando Heavens, acting deputy senior Reverend D. Matthews, executive pastor, Reverend K. McCoy, co-pastor, Reverend S. McCoy, and assistant pastor, Reverend P. Halley. I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And not only that, all you wonderful, faithful people, deacon and deaconess, everyone. Amen. And just make the Lord continue to bless you and cause his face to shine upon you as you continue in this great revival. God's revival. Amen. All right. Let, we're going to sing a whole song. Amen. Bless the Lord and... Uh, I know maybe a lot of you don't um, know it, but you will catch on to it. There was a time on earth when in the book of heaven an whole account was standing for sin was yet unforgiven. My name was at the top and many things below. Then I went on to the keeper and settle it long ago, long ago, long ago. Yes, an old account was settled long ago. Hallelujah, for my records here are clear. And Jesus washed my sins away. And the whole account was settled long ago. The whole account was large and it was growing every day because I always sinning and never stopped to pay. Then when I look ahead and saw such pain and woe, then I went on to the keeper and settled it long ago, long ago, long ago. Yes, an old account was settled long ago. Hallelujah. 
judgment bar I stand before the king and he the book was open then he couldn't find a thing then my heart rejoiced and tears of joy had flowed because I had it settled and settled long ago long ago Yes, I know that time was set a long ago. Hallelujah, for my record here is clear. Jesus washed my sins away. And I know that time was set a long ago. Could we bless the name of the Lord? Oh, sinner, seek the Lord. Of all your sin, for thus is heart commanded. If you will enter in, then if you should live a hundred years below, then you will not regret it because you said it long ago, long ago. song and it's carry it is carry it is reality amen bless the name of the lord i said it is reality amen you may be seated to god be the glory i know the time is limited so let me just go ahead oh my god my god amen as the songwriter said there was a time on earth amen when in the book of heaven Amen. He said, an old account was standing there, for sin was yet unforgiven. My name was at the top. Come on. And there was many things below of my character and my deeds, my hairs and my bad-minded and covetousness and all things you can think. Of. It was written at the bottom. Then I went on to the keeper. Come on and settle it settled it long ago could we bless the name of the lord could we bless the name of the lord my god almighty i want you, every one of us here today to look into your life check your credit come on see if you say if you don't settle go to the creditor the creditor is here amen bless the name of the lord it went out and said mm, Oh my God, it, 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 so much is in this song. Amen. It said the whole account, he said it was large. And it was growing every day. Mm. Because I always sinning. Sinning in my heart, in my mind. Come on. Sin take and the devil and unclean spirit take control of this body. Mm. 
I always seen I never stopped to pray. Then he said, then when I look ahead and saw such pain and woe, I said I would have it settled. And I go settle it long ago. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. It is for us today. Amen. To see if our account is growing large. Instead of settling, see if it's going large. And look ahead and see the result. See the penalty. Much pain and woe if it not had been settled. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. He said, when at the judgment bar now, he said, I go stand before the king of kings. And he, the book, it was open. And he could not find a thing. Then my heart began to rejoice. And tears of joy began to flow. Because I had it settled. And set it long ago. Could we bless the Lord? Could we bless the Lord? Could we bless? If you know you are settled, bless the Lord. If, if it not yet has been settled, then you can settle it today. Come on. Come on. Say, oh, sinners, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. And repent of all your sin. For thus it has commanded if you should enter into heaven. Just like our Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. Come on, come on. Because he's, he thought his account was settled. But it did not settle. He went to Jesus by night. I said, Rabbi, come on. I know that thou art a great teacher come from God. Mm. And all these miracles and signs and wonder what you do. You could not have done it. The God was not with you. But Jesus won't know that his account has not yet settled. Come on. He said, you must be born again. To all sinners, seek the Lord. Repent of all your sins. For thus is that commanded. If you should enter in. And if you should live. A thousand years below. Then you would not regret it. Because you have settled it. You have settled it. I said, you have settled it. Long ago. Long ago, down on my knees. Long ago, and settled it on. For the old account was settled long ago. He said, for my record here is clear now. Come on, come on, come on. If you are settled long ago, your record is clear. I said, if you are settled long ago, your record is clear. But if you are not settled, you, you can, your record can be clear today. Amen. So get it settled today. Amen. I maybe have about 15 more minutes or 20 minutes leave. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> to God be the glory. I want you to turn your Bibles with me. Amen. To the book of St. Luke. St. Luke chapter 13. And I could go from the first verse or someplace there, but I let me jump down in someplace in the middle. Because Jesus, he always speaks word of parables. Amen. If I jump down to verse 22, it said, And he went through the cities and village, preaching and sojourning towards Jerusalem just like how we have all these visionary who travel around the world preaching the word of God witnessing the world vision day opening churches all around amen when um, Reverend McCoy and Minister McCoy was in Brazil there was not a time when I didn't watch them over there so God moved mightily on their lives over there Amen. And see when that man, the, the real estate man, began to prophesy in that church, turn his face to the wall. Amen. All right, let me just go on because I might get off today. Amen. So, as they travel, 
and preaching the word of the Lord. The Bible said in verse 23, Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few be saved? That was a question asked. Are there few be saved? The word today I want to leave with you is that the creditor is here and if there are few that will be saved as the question it asks, it said to settle your account. Amen. But when we look into this verse and this chapter of scripture that we just read, are these two verses. When that person asks the Christian, Jesus did not give a specific answer, neither a direct answer. Because if Jesus did give a direct answer or a specific answer, many of who follow Jesus will be wondering wonder if I am going to be in the few that will be saved. But when we check otherwise another scripture, the Bible said, none that come unto him, he will in no wise cast out. And we check again the golden verse for this this great mission for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever is a hope and invitation is a universe universal invitation to the old world even to the 80s to the Muslim to the Hindus come on amen it not it was not only those who were following Jesus. Amen. The Bible said now he, he, he entering now into Jerusalem and they asked him that question because they the respond and they are seeing and heard the message that Jesus had been preaching and teaching and it might be seems hard for some people. Amen. Because Jesus speak in parables. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. So he asked the question, are there few that be saved? As I said, Jesus never answered that individual specifically, but Jesus used a proverb also. In verse 24, he said, strive. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Amen. Strive to enter it. My God. What he said? Strive to do what? Strive to enter. It. Oh, glory to God in the highest. Where? At where? The straight gate. That means if we have, look into this now. We as mother and father. I'm going to do the physical now, then we'll get into the spiritual. We have our children. And we try very hard to send them to high school that day. And we work hard on them, say, strive hard and make every effort so that you can graduate and get your diploma and whatever. Come on now. Then you graduate from high school, now it's time to college. And there are many children today who strive hard and the parents push them, work hard for them to go to college so that they could graduate from college and get their degree and so on. Amen. But there are times when you go one year, two years, three years, it seems like this four years is too much, it's too hard to go at the end. Am I right? Amen. So the mother or father or parents would push them and say, strive hard. Push, put every effort in it. Because you're almost to the end. As I hear Evangelist was singing the song this morning, I said that was a part of what God was confirming. I can't go back. Come on now. No, I won't go back. You try every effort now. Because it's not the same before you. Jesus met you. Jesus met you now. We can talk to the master now. 
It doesn't matter what was happening before. The creditor is here to settle the account. Could we bless the name of the Lord? Amen. My God. Amen. So try all, every effort to make it at the end of the four years of college so you can graduate. You don't mess, many, many messed up when they almost time for them to graduate and they get kicked out. But hear what the word of the Lord God said now. He said, when once the master of the house is risen up mm, and had shut the door, come on out. And he began to stand without and knocking at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. Then you will hear an answer. He said unto you, I know you are not from whence you are. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why you got to strive hard to make it in, because what? The way to heaven is narrow. Did you hear that? The way to destruction is a wide road. How do you get that? How do you get that? You know what happened? There are many, many false God and false doctrine. That can get the world confused. And there are many people saying today that there is more than one way to heaven. When I was on the job one day, the boss and other people, they get mad with me. Because this is what they were saying that there are more than one way to heaven. They say, I am very much selfish. Yeah, they say, I'm selfish because I said it's one way. And if you don't enter that way, you're, you're going to be doomed. You're going to be lost. They said, I'm selfish. And they isolate themselves from me. Because I'm too selfish. Did, I must agree with them to say that there is more than one way. Then we can be friends. Yeah, they only talk to me until we leave that job. Because he hit them so hard. He said, Jesus is the only. You know why? You know why the way is narrow? Because Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only true God. Come on now. And the way to Jesus is narrow. The way to other gates to enter in. There are many other gates. But they are false. They cannot enter through them. That's why Jesus Christ said, No one come to the Father except through me. I am the door. And the door is narrow. If you open that door right here now, how many people can go through that door at one time? You got to line up yourself to go through the door. Amen. But if you have a big wide gate, come on now, a lot of people can go through that gate because they'd rather go through the wide gate than go through the narrow gate. That's why Jesus said, straight and narrow is the way that leads to life eternal. Could we bless the name of the Lord? So the Bible says, Jesus gave the answer and said, strive to make it in at a straight gate. Amen. Amen. We have a 28 years of anniversary. And I heard somebody said, it is more than 28 because it's from 2,000 years ago. That was perfectly right. <laughs> I mean, that's why I like these young preachers. Uh, there are many things that are hidden from the wise and prudent. Reveal now to babes and suckling. Amen. And young men see visions. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's why many times I like to sit down and listen to them. Because it's time for the whole men to learn from the, those that see vision. Amen. You don't understand. <laughs> bless the name of the Lord. Could you bless the name of the Lord? 
Amen. So God is saying today to strive hard, make every effort to make it in. Why are we going to strive hard to make it in? And why are we going to make every effort to make it in? Because the door or the way is narrow. So to make it into that narrow gate, my God Almighty, it's not easy. If it was easy, Jesus would have said to strive hard. It's easy to go to the white gate. There's no striving to go to it. Easy to go through. Amen. So Jesus is the only way to be saved. The only way. And there's no other way. It's through Jesus Christ. So once the master is risen up and locked that door, that door is what? Never going to be reopened. Come on. I said the door will never be reopened. Once the master risen up and shut that door. Anybody remember no one the ark? Who did shut the door? It wasn't Noah shut the door. If it was Noah shut the door, when they came knocking at the door, Noah would open it. Could you bless the name of the Lord? Say, Brother Noah! It's my heart. Come on. It goes for man's when they cry out. Anybody remember the ten virgin? Five wise and five foolish? Come on now. They were watching, they were praying, they were in church. Come on. They went to every service. They're preaching, they're singing, they're playing music. Come on now. They're having revival. Come on. Amen. But five were striving hard to make it in. Amen. But the other five, they thought it was going to be just easy. Just sit down and relax. Come on. But when the master arise and the tenth virgin arise also, they trim their lamps. And you know the story quite well. Five wise and five foolish. Today is the day to settle the account. Come on. Today is a day to get more oil in your lamp. Today is the day to trim your lamp. They said, give us of your oil. They said, we don't have enough. For me and you go buy for yourself. But they go buy then the door, Jesus come through the door. And those that were ready goes in. And when those goes in, the door was shut. And it never reopened for no one. They come back with their oil they go, and they repent. And refill. Come on now. And ready to go in, but it was too late. And they came knocking, 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 knocking. Say, Lord, Lord, open unto us. But you know this story quite well, so let me go, get down in a few more verses of scripture. Amen. In Isaiah 62, Isaiah 26 and verse 2. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keep the truth may enter in. I heard from a few years ago. And Brooklyn is the gateway to God's revival. And the moment you cross over the bridge, the Tracknet Bridge and the Whitestone Bridge, come on, as long as the black off is the gate hoping to come to God's revival. Come on. Amen. 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 Come on. As long as it don't black off, is the gateway to cross over into God's revival. So open 
in the gates that the righteous nation which keep it the truth and speak the truth, my God, and teach the truth that they may enter in. Could you bless the name of the Lord? That's why I hear, I like our Reverend McCoy speak this morning. Amen. Cause revival. He can give headquarters a surprise. Amen. Amen. And the turn I heard it say the turnout last night was very awesome from Brooklyn here. To God be the glory. Amen. And when you stand together and unite together, that's what the devil don't want. Amen. And what happened last night is shock the devil territory. Come on. Hey. Mm. And I know, I know, I know, I know some, I know some enemy was maybe online uh, trying to see what's going on. Come on now. <laughs> but you know what happened? The line was black. They couldn't see. <laughs> you want to see, you got to be there. Amen. Because once the master comes in. <laughs> Come on now. Once the master come in and shut that door, there's going to be a time when internet service is going to cut down. Many are going to go on the internet to see what's going on. But it's shut down. I mean, it's shut down. Maybe they're going to run, come to the church door, drive up their car to see if church still keeping. Even when they drive up to the church door, the church door lock up because we know nobody else comes in. There's a time we got to know how to keep out the enemies. The enemies for God's revival. Amen. But it's one thing I got to say today. That the door right now is still open. The door is not yet shut. So the nation who fear God and who love God can come through that door. Those who wanted the truth, bless the name of the Lord. Psalms 118 and verse 19. Open me the gates of the righteous, of righteousness, and I will go in unto him or unto them, and I will praise the Lord. That's why we got to keep the church door open. That's why we have to have revival. Could we bless the name of the Lord? Open me the gates of the righteousness, my God, and I will go unto it, uh, unto them, and I will praise the Lord. Psalms 118 and verse 20. Mm. This gates of the Lord mm, unto which the righteous shall enter this gate Brooklyn Avis Army Church Avis Army Revival God's Revival could you bless the name of the Lord he said this gate of the Lord this church gate this church door of the Lord unto which the righteous shall enter did you hear what I said? I said, righteous. Come on. I want you, you got to get the definition. Is that only Christian people is righteous? Did you get that? It's not only Christian people righteous. There's a lot of people that all do good and give to the poor, like our Salvation Army and other people and whatever. You, you, you give a lending hand. It, that, 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 that is a part of righteousness. Amen. The, the righteous. Bless the name of the Lord. So we, they, 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 have a, they, have, they have a form of godliness. But yet they are not Christian. Just like the Pharisees and the Jews. Amen. And all those people in ancient days. And a lot of people who go to other churches and they do many good. You call them the, the, the righteous people. But you need a gate for them to open up. 
the gates of the Lord for them to know the truth. Could we bless the name of the Lord? Amen. Amen. A man out here, uh, 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 as I hear somebody, say, somebody like you were saying that the, the, the lawyer man, the lawyer man paid, they, they don't, that was a righteous man. He does something that is righteous. It's not ungodly things they do. Come on. Amen. You, you may hold here and, and, you, and you get a flat. Amen. And, and you see, you see a, a, a drunkard didn't come in and come help you. And when the drunkard help you, you say, God bless you. Yeah. Come on. Ungodly sinners. Amen. But they need Jesus Christ. They do something that is good, something that is righteous. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. My God. In Psalms 118, verse 19, I said again, said, Open, open to me the gates that the righteousness of the righteousness and I will go in. Amen. Let's go down a little more. Isaiah 26 and verse 3. Thou will keep them in perfect peace whose mind stayed on him because it trusted in the Lord. So the thing is this. When we trust in the Lord, the Lord God will keep us in what? In perfect peace. As I said before, the door is still open that the righteous may go into it. The door is open. Amen. It never said not for the Christian itself, that the righteous. Remember, remember Jesus, when Jesus came on earth, what Jesus come and said? He said he came not to call what? The righteous. Come on. They were still doing something good. He said, I came not to call the righteous. But sinners to what? To repentance. That means they were righteous. But they need repentance. Bless the name of the Lord. So the gate got to open. Jesus is the gateway. So that the righteous will come in. That they will be saved. That their own account will be settled. The old account that was growing large every day. Amen. Because many of them thought all that they were doing was just good. But many of them were doing a lot of evil. Amen. They oppressed the fatherless and the motherless and the widows. Come on now. And take away from those who just have just a little. Amen. Could we bless the name of the Lord? But Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So the door is also for the sinners, is also for those who pretend that they were righteous. Come on now. And that they were holy and that they were living so clean for God. Amen. But they were not sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So the account need to be settled. The whole account was large and growing every day. Come on now. Could you bless the name of the Lord? They're growing every day because even though they're righteous, but they keep on sinning and never stop to pay. Oh, Lord Jesus. But when they look ahead and when they hear the word of God and they saw such pain and woe, that's why many of the Jews did believe on Jesus Christ, the righteous Jews then. They believe when they hear the word because the gate were open for the righteous to come in. Could we bless the name of the Lord? And the gate is still open right now for even some of those who are fighting against the move of God. The door is not shut. It's still open. Mercy. Say, oh, sinners, seek the Lord. Come on. I found your sin. Righteous man, righteous woman that walk away. Come on now. Seek the Lord, repent of all your sin. For thus is I commanded if you want to enter into this straight gate. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And if you should live even a thousand years below, then you would not regret it because you settled your account long ago. Could we bless the Lord? Could we bless the name of the Lord? Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. Hmm. Isaiah 26 and verse 4. Mm. He said, trust in the Lord forever.
come on now. If your account had been settled, then we got to trust in the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. We can't be wavering now. It's a trust. We can't put our trust in man. We can't put our trust in, in our goods and whatever that we have. Amen. It's a trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Let the weak say, I am strong. When you believe that it's over and you can't go no more. I heard somebody said, my heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling on. Now it's time now to stop the feeling and just keep traveling on. Come on now. You know when you sit down, you feel like get up, but you're still sitting down. Come on. Come on. You feel there's something, some, something running in your spirit, and the spirit of God tell you, said, you feel like run around the church. But you're still sitting down. Come on now. So you feel like traveling on, but you still sit down. You still become complacent. Could we bless the name of the Lord? Amen. So let the weak say, I am strong. Bless the name of the Lord. Mm. Psalms 31 and verse 1 said, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me from thy righteousness. Deliver me in thy righteousness, as you said. Bless the Lord. There are so many that need deliverance right now. And we got to call unto the Lord. Many today want deliverance. But they don't trust in the Lord. We got to trust in the Lord. Could you bless the Lord again? Amen. Amen. Psalms 100 and, I mean Psalms 31 and verse 2. Said, Bow down thine ears to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an host of defend to save me. Oh God Almighty. Because my account, my account, my account need to settle. It. Oh God Almighty. Mm. Yes, so bow down and hear me, oh God. I am repenting right now. Deliver me speedily. Oh yes, Lord God Almighty. Mm. I need my account to be settled. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock. Oh God Almighty. And house of defense and save me. Deliver me. Oh God Almighty. Rescue me. Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Jesus is merciful. Jesus, you save. Snatch them and pick from the pit and the grave. Tell them. That Jesus is mighty to save. Could we bless the Lord? Could we bless the Lord? Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Let me jump down and give you this last. I'm, I'm cutting right now. I'm going right back to the hen right now. Bless the name of the Lord. Because the Lord is about to recompense us. Because of our righteousness. The time is gone. I can't get into it. Bless the name of the Lord. The recompense day is coming. Amen. Because your account is settled. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me just read this and I just stop. Therefore, art the Lord recompense me according to my righteousness. According to the cleaning of my hands. Oh Lord, in his eyesight. That is Psalms 18 and verse 24. Go down a little more. It says Psalms 71 and verse 16. It said, Oh God, thou art thought me from my youth. As I hear the, these young ministers coming up and say, It's good to be a, amongst good leadership. Say, Oh God, thou art taught me from my youth. And either to I have declared thy wondrous work. Like how I hear these young people speaking. And, and um, Psalm 71 and verse 17 said, Now, when I am whole and gray-headed, say, O God, forsake me not until I show thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. And then we can say like Brother Paul, Oh, God Almighty. What Brother Paul said. 
in, in, in 2 Timothy 4 and verse 6, he said, For I am now ready to be offered. Oh, Lord Jesus. I am now what? Ready to be offered because my departure, the time of my departure is what? Is at end. And it's Paul said, I have fought a good fight because Paul had taught Timothy and the brethren all that God had put in his spirit. Amen. So when Paul did old and gray headed and about to go out, bless the name of the Lord. He said, let me, let me just give this verse again. He said, oh God, thou art taught me from my youth and either too I declared thy wondrous work. And even when I'm gray-headed, oh God, forsake me not until I show thy strength unto this generation and the power to every one that is to come. Bless the name of the Lord. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy. Tribe and true with thanksgiving, I'll be a living thank the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Somebody thank God right now. Hallelujah. My God, what, what a powerful word. What a powerful word. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. What a powerful word. Come on, somebody just thank the Lord. Somebody thank the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we give you glory. Somebody just thank the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you glory, hallelujah. Somebody just give him glory, hallelujah. Somebody give him glory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He said in Romans 5 verse 19, he said, for by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Come on, somebody praise God. One man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Somebody praise his name. So by the obedience of one, somebody praise God. Come on, somebody said the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Somebody give God a glory. Somebody give God the glory. 
The Bible said, for God have made him to be sin for us. Somebody praise God. Who knew no sin. Come on, somebody. That we might be made the righteousness of God. Somebody said the account is settled. Somebody said the account is settled. Somebody said the account is settled. For he was wounded. Come on. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. Hallelujah. Jesus settled our account with his own blood. Somebody praise God. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No money can suck on this account. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No fame could settle the account. But Jesus settled this account with his blood. With his own blood. Somebody praise God. He ransomed us. Somebody just thank the Lord. Glory to God. Somebody thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all you got to do to settle this account. Hallelujah. Jesus make it very simple. Glory to God. He said, confess your sins. Somebody praise God. He said in 1 John 1 verse 9. He said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we confess our sins. Come on, somebody praise God. He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's all God is saying to man. Hallelujah. He said, woe to him that... that draw sin like a cart somebody praise God somebody praise his name you, you, we don't have to carry sin we don't have to bring it everywhere we are going God said you can settle it come on somebody praise God hallelujah and you settle it by confessing to Jesus by confessing that sin somebody praise his name and once you confess and you believe come on somebody Somebody give God a praise. I, I still remember the day I settled mine. Come on, somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I went to church. Come on, somebody. And I said, today is the day. Uh, somebody give God a praise. Uh, all that burden, all that debt, uh, I just give it to Jesus. Somebody praise God. Somebody give God a praise. Uh, what a loving God. Come on, somebody. Uh, what a loving God. My God. Is there one here today that is not safe? Hallelujah. We're giving it out again. God said, settle this account. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's not you going to settle it. All is, come on, come on. He, he's settling it for you. He said, come. Somebody praise God. I'm going to clear all your debt. Come on. I'm going to pay it all off. Come on, somebody. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God for his word. We're going to be praying. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody watching in TV land. Just repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for your love and your mercy. Today, Lord, forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me, Lord, from all unrighteousness and save my soul. Today, Lord, I surrender my whole heart to you now. Come into my life. And take residence in my heart as of right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. You pray that prayer. You believe in your heart. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go all the way in water baptism and continue to walk with the Lord. Somebody praise God. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody said the account is settled. Somebody said the account is settled. Yeah. Hallelujah. The devil may want to bring back your past. You tell him that account is settled. Come on. Come on. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Paul said this one thing I do. I, I forget those things that are behind. Come on, somebody. Somebody give God a praise. And I press. Come on. Somebody praise God to the mark for the prize of the higher calling. Somebody bless the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah, you may be seated a few. We're going to be letting you go shortly. Today we have, hallelujah, three powerful souls that have settled their accounts with the Lord. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. 
Glory to God, and I'm going to be inviting Sister Tranisha K. Walker, Sister Whitney Han Campbell, and Sister Kayla Benjamin. Put your hands together as they come at this time. Glory to God, hallelujah. Praise his name. Glory to God, hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. Glory to God, hallelujah. I'm going to ask our associate pastor right here, Reverend Bruce, to stand and, and our executive pastor, let's stand behind him. Please, hallelujah. Thank you, praise God. Somebody bless the Lord. Come on, somebody said the account. Oh my gosh, shut up. Man, this, this is so powerful. Anytime, anytime you get discouraged, just remember this word. Come on, that God said he's secret. Come on, somebody bless the Lord. Oh my God. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Come on, put your hands together for, for these precious souls. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Put your hands together for them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Hallelujah. And you just say yes or you can say no. Somebody bless the Lord. Were you water baptized? Amen. Do you decide to follow the teachings of the scriptures for the rest of your life? Say it. Amen. Do you decide to obey those who are over you in the Lord? Amen. Put your hands together for them. Praise God. I'm just going to ask you just to turn around and face the congregation. Is there anyone present that has any just reason why we should not receive these souls into the fellowship of the Harvest Army Church International? You can speak now or wherever hold your peace. Amen. Can you turn back around? Somebody praise God. Somebody said the account is settled. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to invite our acting deputy senior pastor, Reverend Duane, and our associate pastor, glory to God, Reverend Bruce, just to pray with them. Praise God. Just come and just pray. Lay your hands on them and pray. Amen, everybody. Let's, amen, stand and agree in prayer together. Amen. We're going to bless them. Amen. We know every time, amen, souls are received unto the Lord, the angels rejoice, but the devil is upset. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're going to anoint them. Amen. And we're going to bless them. Amen. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless these, your children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, they have committed unto you totally. And Father God, you have given them your righteousness in the name of Jesus. And Father, we place them right before you right now. Every plan of Satan against them, we rebuke it right now. And we, de we declare that they are fully in. They are fully sealed. Amen. They are strong. Hey, God Almighty, you have given them your power and your righteousness. For Father God, you said unto as many as receive you, to them gave you the power to become the sons of God. And now they are the fully engrafted in the kingdom of God. I bless them, Lord. They're going out. They're coming in. Lord, I order their steps, Lord God. Oh, God, you will guide them. You'll keep them, Lord Jesus Christ. You'll reveal yourself unto them. You You'll give them revelation knowledge. You'll, you'll talk to them personally, Lord. You'll guide them, Lord. You'll convict them by the Holy Spirit. Lord God, I bless them and I raise them up as mighty warriors. Mighty soldiers of Christ, mighty oh, 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 stones in the body of Christ, mighty, oh God, pillars of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I bless them and prosper them, oh Lord, in every area, in everything that they do. Lord, thank you for them. Thank you for the souls. Lord, we bless you for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stand with me, church. Stand with me at this time. Glory to God, just hold my hand. Hallelujah. By the authority vested in me as pastor in the Harvest Army God's Revival Arena, with all these witnesses present, I hereby receive Sister Tranisha K. Walker as a member, as a harvester, as a worker, as a warrior, as a disciple, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Somebody receive us. Amen. 
Hallelujah. By the authority vested in me as a pastor in the Harvest Army God's Royal Arena, with all these witnesses present, I hereby receive Sister Kayla Benjamin as a member, as a harvester, as a worker, as a warrior, as a disciple, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. By the authority vested in me as pastor in the Harvest Army God's Royal Arena, I hereby, with all these witnesses present, I hereby receive Sister Whitney Ann Campbell as a member, amen, as a harvester, as a worker, as a warrior, as a disciple, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Somebody praise God. Somebody bless the Lord. At this time, I'm going to invite our secretary as she come to present the certificate of baptism and of membership. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. On behalf of the Harvest Army God's Revival Arena Church, I present this certificate of baptism and membership to Sister Trenisha K. Walker in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Praise God on behalf of the Harvest Army God Revival Arena Church. I hereby present this certificate of baptism and membership to Sister Kayla Benjamin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. On behalf of the Harvest Army God's Revival Arena Church, I hereby present the certificate of baptism and membership to Sister Whitney Ann Campbell in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I'm going to ask you just to face the congregation and I'm going to ask the brethren, leaders, just come and hallelujah, congratulate them, give them the right hand of fellowship at this time. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. There's a lot of power in the house. I'm going to invite our pastors, all our pastors right here, just to come right here. And I'm going to invite the members. Come. We, we want to bless you. We, all the pastors are going to bless you today. So I'm invite our, hallelujah, deputy, acting senior pastor, executive pastors. There's a lot of pastors here. Um, Co-pastor. Assistant pastor, so come, come, let's stand up right here, right here. And all the members come, Bishop, if you could join us, if, if possible, our executive bishop that ministered to us, and we're going to bless you, everybody. Come, hallelujah, whatever era, whatever area, whatever need, hallelujah, we're going to be praying. Come, church, glory to God, come. Uh, every, every era, every era of need, you're going to put it, we're going to put it before the Lord, we're going to pray for you, we're going to pray for you, everybody, everybody, just come quickly, hallelujah. And as you come, you're going to give God some praise. Glory to God. Give God some praise. Everybody, just begin to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Those who are not yet baptized with the Holy Ghost, get ready to be baptized. Those who need healing, somebody praise God. Uh, as we heard of Rebecca Hahn, glory to God. Lay hands on her as a point of contact. We curse cancer. We cancel cancer. We plead the blood against every sickness. Come on, somebody. Every situation that is out of order is going to come in order right now. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. When the hands of the men and women of God lay hands on you. Glory to God. It's not going to be the same. Whatever. It, it could be finance. It could be whatever the situation is right now. I want you to bear it before the Lord. Everybody talk to the Lord right now. Because you 
your account is secure. God said, no good thing will I withhold from them that walk uprightly. Church, come on somebody. Glory to God. We're not living. Glory to God like our account is not settled. It's settled. So God said, nothing will I withhold from you. Glory to God. He said, ask them go give you. Come on. Somebody give God a praise. Glory to God because it's settled. Can you begin to worship God right now? Can you begin to open your mouth louder? Can you begin to talk to God? Just open your mouth, church. Open your mouth. Glory to God. And as you open your mouth, glory to God, the servant of God, servants of God is going to lay hands on you and pray. But I want you to open your mouth and give God some praise. And hallelujah, begin to talk to God. Glory to God. Begin to call on him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because that account is settled. That account is settled in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus, get ready to receive that blessing. Get ready to receive that breakthrough. Get ready to receive that healing. Get ready to receive that empowering. Come on, in the name of Jesus. I yes. Madabakasara. Yes, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, glory to God. I'm going to ask the servant of God as you're led, you can go ahead and just pray right now. Glory to God. Everybody, just glory to God. And as they lay hands on you, receive. Glory to God. That breakthrough. Receive that blessing. Receive, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Receive the hand of God in your situation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When the hands are laid on you, receive it right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Every Every situation, oh Mabakasata, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Madaba, oh Jesus, your word of God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, yes, Lord. E Bababakasata, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh mighty God, yes, Lord, yes, 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 yes. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. Oh, mighty God, abundantly, yes, in the name of Jesus. Uh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Oh, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, yes, Lord, your word is God. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus. For God, you open your hands, huh? Lord, you satisfy the desire of every living thing. Oh God, we break every powers of the enemy, we break every powers of darkness right now, Lord, and we speak your blessing over the saints, Lord, we speak your blessing over the church, over the people of God. Oh God, we break break off every hole of the enemy oh mighty God in the name of Jesus every strong hole every strong man we plead the blood oh Mabakasada Lord we plead the blood in the name of Jesus oh mighty God those who are in need of a spouse oh God those who need to get married Lord I pray that you'll provide a husband oh mighty God in the name of Jesus Lord God those who are in need of a spouse oh God I pray that you'll provide husbands oh God those who are in need of wife Lord I pray that you'll provide a wife oh God in the name of Jesus those who are in need of healing oh God let there be healing this morning oh God we place Rebecca Hunt Lord we speak healing oh God we rebuke every cancer we rebuke every every infirmity Lord we cast it out for what you have not planted shall be rooted out in the name of Jesus oh God we root out every every sickness Yes, Lord. Let's pray with your hand. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I place our heart before you right now. Oh God, every ailment, every infirmity. Oh God, you said what you have not planted shall be rooted out, Lord. We root out every trace of cancer out of her body. Oh God, out of her heart's body. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we expel that disease. We expel 
tell it. Oh God, for by your stripes we were healed. Oh God, you have sent your word and you have healed us in the name of Jesus. You said, I am the Lord that healeth. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, every infirmity come out of her, the hands body. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, we cancel it right now, right now, right now. Uh, we destroy it, Lord, and we speak your healing. For by your stripes we were healed. By your stripes, Lord, we were healed. In the name of Jesus, I cover under the blood. I cover the entire family. We rebuke every trace of that sickness right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Somebody just rejoice. In the name of Jesus, uh, we decree every need be filled right now. Uh, we decree every need be filled uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus, your word of God. Hey, Baba Kasada. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Every need right now. Every need. Oh, mighty God. Every need. Yes. Uh, Baba Kasada, in the name of Jesus, every need. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Baba Kasada, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, Baba Sata, in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Somebody receive it right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Yes, Lord, we praise your name, Lord. We glorify you, mighty God. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, for your goodness. Hallelujah, for your grace. Lord, for your mercies. Hallelujah, mighty God. Yes, Lord, yes. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, Keshara Baba Sata. Oh, God. You're wonderful, Lord. You're wonderful. You're wonderful, Lord. You're wonderful. Mighty God, mighty God. Yes, Lord, yes. Amen. Jesus, yes. Oh, glory, God, glory. Oh, Kashada Baba. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God, we glorify you. Yes, yes, yes. Receive it right now. Oh, Baba Kasada, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, every need be filled right now. Oh mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you're wonderful Lord. Oh God, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Oh, ba, ba, ba. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, you're wonderful, Lord. Oh, God, you're wonderful, Jesus. Baba Sata. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, you're wonderful, Lord. You're wonderful. Oh, God, you're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be honored. Oh, God, you're worthy to be glorified. Oh, God, you're worthy to be lifted up. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes. Jesus, you're wonderful, God. Yes. Oh, receive it right now. Oh, mighty God. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. If you have been prayed for, you can return to your seats. Hallelujah. Hey, Baba Sata. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hey, Jesus. Oh, Koda Basada. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Fill them, Lord. Fill them with your power. Holy Spirit, fill them with the Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost, let your fire come down, Lord. 
Oh God, fill Lord, fill your people right now. Oh mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Oh spirit of the living God, hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you Lord, hallelujah. Yes, yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need every person, hallelujah, to bring a strong love offering. We have always been blessed by the ministry of our executive bishop, Bishop Hyatt from Atlanta. We want to bless him from Brooklyn. We want to bless him. I need every person, bring me 20, bring me 50, bring me 100. I want you to come with a strong love offering right now as we bless the servant of God who bless us this morning. We, we can't take these, hallelujah, veteran who have been guiding and leading and directing us. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I need everybody. I want you to find something strong. Glory to God and come. Hallelujah. Put something in my hand as we bless the mighty veteran father in our midst. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. One thing I know, that's, that's great. You can put it on the side. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. Glory to God. Come with a strong love offering. Hallelujah. I want to bless. Glory to God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to be letting you go now. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come. Somebody praise his name. Everybody, come with us.